We were invited for this morning meeting and uh, we don't know what is there, so you can see what's the agenda. I don't have the caucus agenda, but as a normal practice, we always meet if we have serious business in the parliament on the floor. So I think as a party caucus, I think we are being called to, uh, to compare notes and prepare for today's sitting. That's what I suspect because I don't have the program. We consulted our people and we have the position they gave us. Therefore, there's nobody saying, telling me if they say, I know the position that I, that I got. Well, my, my, my duty today is to, to represent that position, either to the caucus or, 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 or on the floor. We must prepare ourselves because we are going through NEC, we have gone through the caucus, and we accepted that Article 102B should be changed so that it allows freedom for people to stand other than living in the 75 years. I, I, I called the, the government chief whip and uh, I said I wanted to know what is going to be discussed and whether I'm welcome and uh, she advised me to wait. So I think uh, I am, a, I am a, <laughs> a democratic man. I, I, I have to respect um, the, the other views. Um, I hope that uh, you know, people also respect the will of the people, which is important. I hope within the caucus, the other honorable members will be in a position uh, to state what they found out in the field. I think the caucus is discussing uh, an issue which uh, I am not in agreement with, and uh, I'm not welcome there. Uh, Parliament is going to be engaged in the last betrayal of trust of the people of Uganda. I will particularly be keen on members of parliament who come from constituencies that are well pronounced and have instructed their MPs to come here and say to I will not begrudge any member of parliament, let it be on record, who did genuine consultation and his people told him or her, Genda or Jikwatako. They are coming under test this afternoon. And we look forward for seeing members for the first time being truly representative of the people. You could see the response of, uh, of the CDF, of police, of, uh, of the head of ISO besieging the Speaker of Parliament yesterday. It's literally a military coup. <laughs>